News 46 is brought to you in part by... Call Arid Pest Control today and make your home pest-free. No job is too large. Also, Africanized bee removal. Call today for a free estimate. Special discounts for seniors. We're licensed and qualified with eight years experience. Ask for Jeff or Mindy, your friendly exterminators. Call Arid Pest Control to 727-8343. Matt's Elementary School is uh, well on its way to be completed, and it's uh, uh, within budget, and it should be completed by June of uh, this year. And we're very excited about that. Uh, the school is built to hold 650 students, and uh, we'll have all the latest energy efficiency um, um, built into the school, and it's, it's a green school. Um, it allow us to move the children from the current Mant School, which is across from Walmart uh, and off that busy corner, uh, as well as incorporate most of the students, or a lot of the students, from uh, Mount Charleston Elementary School. They will be spread throughout the uh, throughout Pahrump, um, but um, the I think we have tentatively uh, zoned about 100 students for that area, and there are 420 students in Mount Charleston presently. So the uh, the other 300. And 20 would be divided up between uh, Mount Char between uh, J.G. Johnson, Floyd, and uh, Haven Elementary Schools. And uh, how many students will m the new man's be able to accommodate? Uh, well, we, we hope uh, 650 students. That's that's the plan at this time. Now, w hopefully, we won't fill it up right away. You know, we, you know, if we get to 600, that'll be good first year. Tell us some of the things that they're going to have at the new man's elementary school that are going to be uh, new that uh, new technologies, um, new. Um, equipment? Well, uh, to start off with, we'll have a multi-purpose room and a, a full operational kitchen that, and um, a stage, performing stage in that room where the students uh, have the opportunity to, to go in during their music session and sing and perform and dance and all those other kind of fun things. Inside, uh, currently a match, you know, they have to walk from trailer to trailer and when it's hot outside or windy or rainy, you know, they're exposed to all those elements. Um, we will have a built-in computer lab we are also installing uh, four computers in, in each classroom for the students to use. Um, we, uh, and we will have the um, smart boards and computer uh, instruction uh, that the uh, teachers will be able to better deliver their uh, lessons to the students. And also there's a, a voice enhancement uh, equipment installed in each classroom that allows a teacher to wear a microphone around their neck and speak in a normal tone, and all the students in the classroom will be able to hear it. You know, if, if you've been a teacher for a long time, your voice is pretty worn out uh, from trying to reach little Johnny in the back of the room. This way, uh, stu even students that are hearing impaired uh, have the ability to, uh, to hear what's being said. I know that uh, the issue of budget cuts is um, on the table, but this was actually part of a bond measure to rebuild this school. So this is actually not out of the same fund. That's correct. A lot, a lot of people don't quite understand, well, how can you be building new schools and at the same time reducing your staff and, and having budget problems? Uh, well, in 2007, the voters of Knight County School District passed a bond issue that is specifically for the replacement of old schools or the construction of new schools, renovation for roofs and, and heaters, you know, the elements, those kinds of things. And it cannot be used for operational money. It's not paying for salaries. It's not, not paying your light bill or water bill. It's strictly for the construction and those bonds should be paid off between 20 and 30 years mm -hmm. and it'll be a permanent uh, facility for these students for, for decades in Nye County and it's an investment in the uh, youth of, uh, of this community. Right. Well keep us updated on MANS and thanks yeah. so much for speaking with us. Be happy to. Thank you so much. Bye -bye.